everyone. Firstly, I want to say thank you so much for all of your questions for my Q&A video. There were like over a thousand. I read through every single one like the next day and there were so many good ones so many like thought-provoking questions and interesting ones I want to spend a lot of time replying to so I might have to do like two or three Q&A's but I've picked out all the best questions all the ones that I really want to talk about and I am going to do a Q&A video next week and then I might even reply to some of the other questions in follow-up videos and any that I don't I'm going to try and go back to the video and reply to in the comment section. So thank you so much for leaving a question especially to those of you who don't usually comment. I saw you all and thank you so much for taking the time to comment and ask a question. I'm so so excited to film today's video. I think it's going to be really good and I can't wait to show you guys the photos that I took last week. I'm going to be talking about the leather skirt today and if you saw my video that I filmed with Deb the wardrobe cleanse and shop you would have seen the faux leather skirt from Topshop that I picked up I've got it here so it is faux leather and it's a mini skirt and it's from Topshop you would have seen in the video that I originally got a long leather skirt from ASOS but decided that I would get more wear out of a short leather skirt I'm just gonna say leather in this video rather than faux leather because it's easier so I'm going to talk you through three ways that I like to style the leather skirt I've got a daytime look a kind of more funky fun look and then an evening look as well so hopefully this is helpful to you if any of you want to get your hands on a leather skirt. I really like this one because it has pockets. It's very comfortable. It has like a little bit of a stretch to it. Unless it's a really, really hot day and things get a little bit sweaty, I found this to be really comfortable. You can sit down in it. Um, I've kind of walked around town wearing it and I just think it can be worn so many ways. I found lots of photos online of other people wearing a leather mini skirt as well. And I think there's just so many different ways to wear it. These are only three looks that I've styled, but there's actually lots of other things I could wear it with in my wardrobe. I think with a band tee, leather skirts look really cool. Something a bit more like grungy. I also have like a suede jacket that I think it would look really great with. But let me start talking to you about the three that I picked for this video. And the first one is gonna be the more kind of summery outfit. First of all, I paired it with my white Converse trainers. I love these, I've had them for years. I wore them on my wedding day and they're so comfortable. I really like that they look quite beaten up and I think it immediately makes the skirt look so much more casual. I also put it with this stripy top from Whistles. It's kind of a cream colour with navy stripes and it's long sleeve with these long cuffs as well. I love stripes so much and I think stripes and leather work really well together. I also think stripes and converse work well together so it kind of all pulls into one. And those three items alone look really nice. But if you also want to wear it with a jacket, I paired it with my Topshop denim jacket. I've had this denim jacket for a few years now. It's just like the perfect shape for me because I like denim jackets to be a bit oversized. I had one from a vintage shop that was just too oversized and it just looked too big on me. So this is somewhere in the middle and it works perfectly. And then to tie in the kind of blue of the denim, I also wore it with my Celine bag, which I think is probably one of my more casual bags. I think... I don't know what it is that makes it feel casual. It's probably because it's got the blue on it. It's one of the only bags I have that isn't just black. It's a little bit fun looking as well. You can either hold it by the handle or by the long strap. And I think it goes really nicely with the whole look. This is also a really good day bag because you can fit so many things in it. So because the outfit's quite a day outfit, obviously I'm wearing comfy shoes so I can like run around town and go to lots of different meetings and do whatever I need to do. It's great to have a big bag as well that will fit my notebook and umbrella and everything I need for the day. If you want to click show more in the description box, I'm going to be linking all the items I talk about. But obviously these are just clothes from my wardrobe. They're not all brand new. So if something's out of stock or something's not available, I'm also going to be putting alternatives. Also just because I think you might have different tastes to me. So I'll put like three options for each item. If you want to go to the description box, um, have a look there and everything I talk about will be linked. So I really love that first summer outfit. I really like the stripes. I really like the denim jacket. And let me know what you think of that look. The next look is almost 60s inspired. It really reminds me of something my mum would have worn when she was a teenager. I've seen loads of old photos of her and I feel like it just really looks like something she would have worn. First of all, I put on my over the knee or thigh high boots from Office. I'm so glad I got these, but I am glad I got the Office ones and not the Stuart Wiseman ones because I don't know how much wear I'm going to get out of them. I feel like I can wear them with the leather skirt and with jumper dresses, but I'm not sure what else I can wear them with. So buying the ones from Office are perfect because they weren't too expensive, but there's a tie on the back. So if you have kind of skinny legs like me, it's quite good because it's elasticated so you could tie it up and they won't fall down. They have a little bit of a heel, but not too high. So they're really comfortable 
and if you're not massively fond of having your legs out it's great to wear these with the skirt because then you only have a little bit of thigh showing and I think it looks really cool. I then wore a couple of tops and I layered them together. The first one is an old top that I have from Topshop. It's like a little cami and it's navy kind of silk feeling with a bit of lace and the reason I wore this is because it's got this lace panel at the bottom and I really like when it kind of sticks out of tops. I just really like the extra detail. And then on top of that, I wore this shirt from Topshop, which I feel is very 60s vibes. It's, I think it's like a pajama style shirt. This sort of collar section looks a bit like pajamas. And I love the pattern. It's navy with this kind of colorful floral pattern. And this outfit is probably the most, the hardest one to wear out of all three, just because I feel like some angles, it's not quite as flattering. But overall, I think it's a really cool outfit. Something great for going out for dinner. I reckon you could wear it in the day as well. It depends how confident you feel. But I really like it. I love the 60s vibe. And also to go with this outfit, I wore my Gucci Soho disco bag. I mean, this bag could go with all of the looks. I just love it. I recently did a what's in my bag video, by the way. If you didn't see it, I will link it above if you want to check it out. Again, this fits so much in it and it just goes with everything. It's just a lovely soft black leather bag with a logo, but not like a gold logo. So it's not that noticeable. So that finished off that outfit, I think. Let me know what you think of outfit two. Okay, finally, I Instagrammed a photo of me wearing a long skirt that I bought from Amsterdam with this orange jumper. And you guys went crazy for it. It's another piece that I bought with Debs and I absolutely love it. It's from Topshop, it's this bright orange jumper and it's got these huge bat wing sleeves, like literally huge. And it's kind of cropped, but it's not too short and it has a high neck and I love it. I love the color on me and it goes so well with black. So for this look, I wore the orange jumper with the leather skirt and then my Topshop heeled boots. I kind of wanted everything else to be plain. So I've got black leather boots, black leather skirt, and then I also wore it with my Chanel bag, which is this one, which kind of is like a vintage style. This again goes with everything, but I think it looks really smart and makes the outfit look perfect for the evening. I think this might be my favorite out of all the three. I'm not sure, but I just love this jumper so much. It's very comfortable. If you're a little bit like insecure about your tummy and your upper half. It's nice because it's big and baggy, but then you can wear the tighter black skirt and show off your legs, which is exactly what I like to do. For me, it's a great way to wear some color in my outfits as well. So let me know what you think of outfit number three. I really enjoyed putting these three outfits together, so please let me know what you thought. And if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, please don't forget to check the description box for all the items mentioned and some other items which I recommend as alternatives. I'm pretty sure that's it for now. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on Wednesday evening for my next video. If you haven't seen my last video, I'm gonna put it on the screen here if you wanna have a click and have a quick watch. And if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I'm gonna put the subscribe button there as well. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you soon. Bye.